tonight on Really What the Guru. What we got? Boneless Ooh. chicken wings, but not the boneless chicken wings you're thinking boneless about. Boneless stuff chicken wings. Boneless stuff chicken wings. Two ways. You're going to love it. It's going to be delicious. We're going to show you how because Grilling with the Guru starts right now. Woo! Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Kurt, what we got? Man, we got some boneless stuffed chicken wings. Boneless? We're gonna show you how to do it stuff. too. Yeah. We're gonna so, show you how to debone the chicken wing. So look, it's this That's here. a defective wing, man. Look at that thing it got. To eat. So look, it's a chicken wing that we take the bones out of. And when, when the bones are out, it leaves a nice little pocket right there oh. that you can put all kind of loveliness in. And why chicken wings? Because guys, I mean, who, <laughs> Chicken wings Why are awesome. the chicken wings so good? Because there's so much fat yes. inside the wing. And the skin. And as you cook it, mm. yeah, and the skin. Mm. Now, my <laughs> wife, she'd be like... Mm. No, but that's okay. That's all right. Sorry, Jen. More but, for uh, me. Yeah. More for me. But look, we're going to be doing it two different ways. Because yeah. Kurt, he has this Asian sauce, y'all. Mm. Mm. And mm. Uh, actually, one of my buddies did, did a competition with, uh, on some wings with your Asian recipe. Yeah. And he sent me a picture of first place trophy, man. He's holding it all proud. And I said, dude, so you came out first? He said, no, I just wanted to see what it felt like. <laughs> the first place trophy. I think he came out third. But it, it, it wasn't the sauce. It was The sauce was top notch. It was how he presented. But he's working on it. He's learning. He's so learning. It's a, pro, it's a process. Process. So you're doing Asian, and I'm going on a, a dealer trip out in San Antonio. Uh, uh, Steven Romero, my partner's out there at BBQ Outfitters, and we're going to be doing some Southwest. Yeah. So we're doing a little bit of Mexican, a little Latin. Some Latin, baby. So we're going to do Latin. like a street corn stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Chicken wing, bro. Yep. So and, we're then, going and then, and then we had some leftover pulled pork. So we're gonna do some pulled pork stuffed chicken wings. Look out. Dude, I mean, come on. What anything you find sounds good, and that's how we run our, our show. If it sounds good, we're you gonna make it good. together. We're gonna make it it's good. It's probably gonna be delicious. We gotta thank our sponsors. We Can gotta, we? Yeah, we we need we to. We have to, because they pay for everything. Courtesy Motors and Brobridge, go to courtesybb.com and, and pick yours out. Now listen, I just read a report what? that said that new cars are gonna be. Supply is going to be a little limited there for the next for the foreseeable well, cause, future. Because uh, I, Ian? No, well, this is just a variety. I was worried about the used cars. No, well. You saw how many cars were floating over there? And here's the other thing. Here's the thing about used cars. One of the largest uh, uh, used car auction houses is in South Florida. In, in Florida. So anyway, but uh, look, courtesy got your car. Yeah. So go online. Car, truck, Jeep, they got van. They got your vehicle, man. Yeah, yeah. But whenever you go on, a little person pops up and says, can I help you? You say, yeah, Andrea, yeah, yeah, you can help me, Andrea. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. And uh, Earl, Earl's, we got to thank Earl. Cajun Market. I met oh. Timmy the other day. Did you? Yeah. We nice was, guy, huh? Lo yeah, boy, he he loves us and we love him. <laughs> and we love him back. <laughs> and, and yeah, we, yeah. He grew up with that dude, man. Yeah. I've seen his old Nice guy. We mm -hmm. so appreciate everything they do for us. Oh, yeah. Y'all got to go see Earl's because you can find that. The next sponsor we thanking right there. Uh, you can find Louisiana Love on the shelf, and it's right next to all the season, but it's the best. And I'm going to tell you something else. It, go in there else. and ask them to cut you a Thor's hammer. Oh, and they can. And tell and tell them, tell them we said, look, they, yeah. they, I this. talked to Chantel, the, the butcher. She said, we got that. Yeah, we got that. We, we got, got that. that. Gilbert's Greatest Foods Makers of Louisiana Love. If you ain't cooking with Louisiana Love, you ain't loving what you're cooking. Oh, you need to God. do it all over. Try again. Dude, I, I popped some popcorn today mm. while I was working. Mm. Butter popcorn. Sprinkle that with your love. The best popcorn I ever put in my mouth. One of my uh, former co-workers, <laughs> her and her husband. It's good on everything. It's good on everything. It's kind of like Frank's hot sauce. I put that bleep on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Cajun Grill, get yeah. it done back here. Oh, yeah, doing all the heavy lifting. Silver Bullet. We, we got, got a, we're Cadillacing right now about 325. That's right where we need That's to be. That's where I want my chicken wing. I well, not, you. not only that, but because this is going to be a stuffed chicken wing, everything's going to be very, very dense. Can't go fast with this. No, no, you're low and slow. You have to go low and slow. Yeah, you're going to roast them. Yeah, even though your oven temperature is at 320, 350, 
you want to keep your fire. If you can go indirect, go indirect. Yeah. But if you like on this Cajun grill, we got about We're probably drop 20 inches of separation yep. between the coals and the cook surface, which we want. Yeah. We don't want to burn them. We want to bring them up real slow. Yep. We could brown them at another time. We got to make sure. I got to say cooked. something else. It's been, say it. it's been on my heart, man. Oh, Lord. My last trip I went on. Yeah. Uh, I'm sitting. Okay. You know them little bitty planes that fly to Lafayette first thing at yeah, 6 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Okay. One seat on, on one side, two on the other. Yeah. I get on the plane. I'm walking down the aisle. It's about half full. I'm going to my thing. I'm counting down the thing. I look. And there's this big, beautiful black man, and he's the biggest man on the plane. Okay. And I'm the second biggest man on the plane. Ask me where my seat was at. Right next to him. Right next to him. They but you flew know like what? that. They flew God like that. works in mysterious ways. His name is Donovan Franks. He's the regional sales manager for Advanced Auto Parts. That dude sees our show. He he said, dude, he recognized right. You're one of them gurus, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Donovan, you like the show? He said, man, I love you. He awesome. said, said no, nah, I can I can cook. I said, dude, you didn't have to tell me that. I can just <laughs> look at you. Not because you was big, but you know, people just have that. You just know. You just know. You just know. And that man looked like he could throw down on a barbecue pit. So Donovan, that one's shout you, out to you, baby. We We've love seeing, you. We've been seeing a bunch of y'all around town. See, you stop us, tell us how. We love talking with you. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta take a little break. We're gonna clean up. When we come back, it's chop, time. Chop, to, chop. It's time to get down to it. Street corn. We got street Asian. corn. We're gonna show you how to debone the wings. Can we? There's a lot of stuff to do. Oh yeah. See you in two minutes. Come Don't back. go nowhere. He's on the bottle again. Hey, welcome back to the show, guys. <laughs> It's time to debone chicken wings and start cooking some elote. I'm going. Go to it. You do that. I'm going to throw. Okay, we got a skillet on the grill, guys. We're just going to throw a little olive oil in this beautiful cast iron skillet. Yeah. And we're going to just fry the corn. You're going to fry, fry the corn. The kind of like corn. we're doing the mock shoe, but it's it's not. It's All right. Elote. So this is, I'm going to show, I'm I'm going to do the whole process here, but when you see it, is we're going to magic a TV this thing. Each wing is going to take you about five minutes when you're just starting to learn how to do this. As you get better, you get down to three and a half minutes or so. But it's kind of a process. What you have to remember is keep the knife on the bone. That's that's the, the ticket. You want to try and keep all the skin intact. That's right. So look, come in right here. And you just want to start to separate the meat Go off around the, the bone. Knuckle. Go around the knuckle. So at the beginning, like this, it doesn't really matter too much because this is the top. This is the open portion think and you see when you when you get the tendon like that it'll release like that and then you can just slide your knife underneath oh. I did like 12 of them in like I don't know the first time you do it about, about you, 15 minutes you think, man you know yeah okay so once you have the knuckle exposed use the back of the knife and just scrape, scrape down. the bone Release the skin. Now you're not and gonna get all the meat. I mean, some of the meat's gonna stay on the bone. But but you look, try and get as much as you can. It releases pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So when you start to get right here, you want to pop the joint. Look at that. Came, Came right, right out, out, huh? Yep. It's the magic. So this is this is the part that you have to pay attention to. If you continue to push the the skin that the meat down, it's gonna split the skin. You don't want that. So you need to fold it on itself. Yes, it's slippery. Yes, it's a little tricky. But I, once you, I see some people, they use like towels or yeah. cheesecloths yeah, and or you, whatever. If, if you're more comfortable with that, that's fine. Yeah. And you, what you're trying to do is expose the knuckle that we just got that bone out of. Like that. All right. And you want to cut out that little piece of cartilage. Right here, just like that. Hey, you know, Lindsay, Lindsay called her boyfriend's mama. Yeah. And she showed her a picture of me and you, and we were kind of like leaning on the table and yeah. stuff like that. And you know what her mama said? No. They look so cute. Are they Are they a couple? A couple of dodos. That's what we are. <laughs> That's what we are. All right. So now you're to the part that has two bones. Boy, if y'all knew us, y'all knew that. that not that there's anything wrong with that, but oh no, I love it. That's not the side the. I I hey, if I did do that way, you'd be, you'd be my style. I think I like that compliment. 
I don't think I like the way the show's going. But <laughs> Welcome to Love Island. Uh, yeah. How you doing with that deep morning, bro? Uh, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting flustered right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So once you get the cartilage out, and you're going to start to expose this bone. They got two bone. bones right there. They got a little bone. So the first thing you do is split them. Split That's the bones. It. That's right. And then you're going to just kind of work down. And once you expose this bone. That one pops bone, out pretty easy. Yeah, this one's kind of okay. There's That's one the one piece. I kind of had a little bit of like like a tenderloin piece of meat always came out with it. But you just got to be careful. Take your time. Like that. I mean, you're you stuffing it. it. Yeah. And then you're going to just bend it. And it's going to come right out the joint. Look at that. How beautiful. Now, some people... And you probably one of them would keep the bone. Oh, I, I and kept boil all that, and yep. you make your nice chicken stock, make and then nice let that cool stock. off, and throw that in your freezer. Next time you're doing a, a gumbo or a stew or anything or a soup, that's what you would use that for. So same thing here. Scrape the bone. You see that tendon right there? Yeah. Yep. They came there off. You it really. Perfect. Sometimes you got to cut them. Sometimes you got to cut them. And then sometimes they'll actually just peel off of the bone. And look, if it's like, just run your knife just underneath your it knife. and let it go underneath. And look, voila. And then you just unfold it, and there you go. You Look have how a beautiful. You have is. a boneless chicken wing, ready and, to go. And ready. you can do whatever you want. Ready to be stuffed. And we will. Like that. Hey, so my, my corn's looking good. Let's. I don't. It's not that I don't believe you, <laughs> but I don't believe you. Let's take a look. <laughs> you want to take a peek, bro? I'm gonna throw some of them purples, onions in there. Come on, look in. at that. Look how beautiful look that how, is. Look at those colors, guys. Isn't my that amazing? God. That is so pretty. And and let me tell you something. That's that's what food should look like. It should be appetizing and delicious. A lot of flavor profiles. Yeah. Charlie Pritchett, a lot of flavor profiles. That aggravates the hell out of them. And it should be great on your eyes. Yeah. 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 If it looks good, it's going to taste good. That's right. For the most part. And you can hear that sound. Okay. Oh, not sure. not a very hard uh, saute. Just kind of gentle. All we're trying to do is sweat down the corn, get a little bit of color on it. They got a lot of water and corn. A lot of water and corn. So once you throw in your pot, you're gonna emit. It's gonna emit a lot of water. I'm and trying onions. to I'm trying to evaporate the water. Yep. And just trying to what I call fry the corn. Just yeah. get it like a nice little golden brown. Yeah. And uh, when you, when the water evaporates, that leaves the sugars in the uh, in the starches, and that's what browns via the Maillard reaction. Love that word. Love yeah. the effect. Who's yard? My yard. Yes, yard. yard. Your, your so, yard. hey, it's yard. time for another little break. Can we do a break? We're going to do it like this. Keith's going to contain the chop up some, some peppers for his elote. That's I'm right. I'm going to start working on stuffing these uh, these wings, these boneless wings. Woo. And when y'all come back, we're going to talk about some more stuff you can do and some more loveliness. It's going to be good. Oh, it's oh, going to be, be good. You got to come back and see it. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Welcome back to Grilling with the Guru. What you got, Bo? I got some peppers. <laughs> and they're grilled. But I want to show you. I got some Serrano peppers. I mean, look at this, guy. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean. Hot. Not that hot. Yeah. Well, you took the, you uh, seeded them. Yeah, right. you seeded them. But stuff. on the, the jalapenos, I went ahead and grilled them to where, it, and then you let them come off the grill, and you let them just kind of sweat, cool off a little bit, and look, look at what that. happens. Look at that. And the, Why do you want to do that, Kurt? Tell them why you want to do that. Because the, the skin of a pepper is not really digestible, and it's also very bitter. Right. But So you can let the skin take the abuse of the heat. You still get the roasted flavor in the pepper, but you don't have to worry about having to mess with all that. And and it's easy to, to sweat it on the grill. Absolutely. And you're getting a little bit of flavor of the smoke as well. Let's make but some mayonnaise. Uh, hey, let me just show them that. Show them some. Come, look at that. I was hot. Look at that, how beautiful that, that is. That is absolutely beautiful. If you could beautiful. smell that. Now, what we did is we added some chili powder, some uh, smoked chipotle, and some cumin. So that's going in all there right here. And we're going to chop up these peppers. We're going to yeah. dice them up. Poop, put that in there. Like what that. you doing with that little stick grinder like that? We're gonna make some mayonnaise. So in this jar I have, and look, it has to be this. I know we haven't done this on on the on the show in a while. It has to be a, a narrow cylindrical jar, right? So a mason jar, pint mason jar. Uh, Can't works do it well. in a bowl, is what you say. No, it doesn't work that well. You'd have to have a very large quantity. Right. So we have a an whole egg and an egg yolk. I have a little bit of red wine vinegar. I have juice of half a lime. Yes, And I have some do. Louisiana love. That's right. So we're going to start with just a very little, just a few drops of oil to get, get the party started. The eggs have to be room temperature for this to work. So once it turns pale, like that, you just start drizzling in your oil. Don't be in a rush. Take it down. 
Uh, you haven't seasoned it yet, right? I put a little bit of Louisiana love in it. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna come back with some of this. This is my this is my mayonnaise, right? Yes. Not for you. Not for me. All right. So but I'm, I do want some of it. I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna let you eat it. Mayonnaise. Look at that. Right, let me All do right. that. Pam. Go ahead. Can I can I be like Salt Bay? <laughs> no. <laughs> not with a powder. <laughs> Apparently not with a powder, yeah. With a salt you can, not with a powder. Bam. All right, go ahead. Mm. I can't wait to taste that. With that lime? Are you serious? All right. So Ooh. here's the other trick to this, guys. Once it comes together like this, stop. If you continue to process this, it will break. It'll break down. Yep. And I've been... I've been at the house, I've been using avocado oil to do this, and it tastes great. But so, it's avocado oil is not as saturated as, as vegetable oil, and it doesn't hold up as well. I've been having a bunch of them break at home, so I went back to vegetable oil. That's just how the uh, mayonnaise crumbles. And that's what we use, vegetable oil. I'm not mad at that at all, at all, at all. I'm jealous. Mmm. When I had that extra lime juice on my oh, yeah. I just Oh, yeah. It. <laughs> it might need just a hair more salt. It does need a little bit more salt. But other than that, it is fantastic. You want to taste this? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I do. <laughs> it's not hot. Oh, the peppers are so good. Oh, my God, those peppers are good. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. That in mm. a bird? Are oh, you God. kidding me? And that's what's going to happen next. Oh! Y'all come back. We're stuffing, uh, we're stuffing the wings. I'm gonna get them on the grill so they can cook. That is amazing. And wait till we put the cheese. You're gonna in put the cheese in it to oh. make it a true elote. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fantastic. We got, got a little heat to it. We too. got mayonnaise. We got Asian flavors. It's like a it's like and a little lanya pulled pork, boneless chicken wings. Festival International is right here. Come on, what you doing tonight, <laughs> man? Bring it on. Come back and see us. We're gonna uh, next set when y'all come back. We're stuffing the wings, getting them on the grill. Pepper Jack, watch you. See you in two minutes. Playing in the corn. <laughs> Hello, you guys. He's the children of the corn. I am the children of the <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm amazed. <laughs> Get it? I'm amazed. Uh, oh, yeah, guys, look. So we're welcome just. Welcome to comedy, Al. Yep, we're just, we're stuffing these. You got all your stuff then yep. wrapped in bacon. I'm down to my last two, maybe three. We're going so, yeah. to stuff some with pulled pork. So, yes. Mm. So this ground meat mixture is ground beef. Soy sauce, uh, a little bit of rice wine vinegar, an egg, and mirin, which is a sweet uh, cooking wine. Some Louisiana love and a little bit of allspice. Keith is stuffing the elote in these. Look at that. And then we got a couple left. We're going to put some pulled pork in. Beautiful. And so if, hey, if you're just joining us, we're doing deboned stuffed chicken wings. So we, in the last segment, we showed you how to debone them. So look, anytime you're dealing with a knife, guys, just be careful. Make sure you're always cutting away from yourself, not towards yourself. And don't rush yourself. Don't rush. If, if you ain't got a lot of point. time, don't probably tackle this dish. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this isn't a 30-minute meal. No, okay? no. This is something, matter of fact, this is something you'd want to prep on a Friday night to cook on a Saturday. That's a good, that's a good point. Yeah. So, um, so take your time with it. Make sure the blade's always pointing away from you. You're cutting away from you because chicken's very slippery. Things could happen real quick, and we don't want that to happen to no, you. No, no, you don't need to go to the urgent care. No. Look at that. We made mayonnaise. We made some uh, some some Latin inspired elote. Uh uh, aioli. Aioli. I got it backwards. That's elote. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So the uh, uh, elote is uh, we sautéed the corn, got it brown. We did a whole kernel of corn. We yeah. sweated it out. Yeah. Let the water come out. We started fry with it. Put a little uh, olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Yeah. And then we added the uh, purple onions, sweated that down a little bit. Then we came back with the uh, the smoked and charred peppers, the jalapena. Mm, yes. And the, it wasn't Fresno. It was... Uh, uh, um, Serrano. Serrano peppers. Serrano peppers. And Serrano's uh, a little bit more spicy, that, but really guy. good. Beautiful. 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 One more to go. You got to do... Oh, pork. two more. Yeah, well, I don't know. You don't we know? got all this left over. Oh, yeah. I guess we could do that as a condiment. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just leave that as a condiment. Like that. So yeah, we're gonna do two more of these last two with pulled pork. Yep. 
And then we're gonna throw this on the pit. So what else could you put in here besides what we did? You could do in it, you shrimp. could do ground pork. You could a shrimp. A seafood stuffing. A crab meat stuffing. Crab would meat be stuffing. amazing. Oh my that god. That would be so good. So you could do, yeah, you could do a shrimp stuffing. You could do a uh, fresh sausage, green sausage. You could. Would be fantastic in that. It would. So it's really whatever limitless. You, whatever you, you come up with. If you uh, got some elk. You know what else would be good? Crawfish etouffee mixed in the rice, put in there. That would be fantastic. So yeah, that is, look, it's limitless. You can do whatever you want to do. That's right. You can do okay. whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, so be sure and give this a try. Just remember, low and slow cooking because these, uh, you can see, this is, you ain't gonna eat more than one or two of these bad boys. <laughs> That's some big chicken wings. That's some big chicken wings. Now look, and there's no bones. And this I want is, to show this them, is like, pure meat. Look, if, if by any chance you do cut through Have the skin, don't worry about it. If you don't want to wrap it in, in the in the bacon, when you put it on the grill, just put it with the, the cut side up. You're going low and slow. There's nothing that's going to swell in here. Yeah. You're going to have some shrinkage of the meat. It's probably going to open that incision a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, you'll be okay. It's fine. If anybody complains, like, oh, look, you messed up, look, don't put invite it, them next time. Yeah, it, you're not invited. Get put out. a toothpick through it. If, if, if you really want to uh, seal that, just run a toothpick through that's it and right. you'll be fine. So Here hey, we go. We got to get these on the grill. They got to cook. And I'm when y'all come back, I'm going to get some pulled pork. And he's going to get pulled pork. But when y'all come back, it's our favorite segment of the show. Uh, it's the a la manger segment. Hey, we need to do the Charlie Pritchett uh, flavor profile. Yeah, we're not doing the knowledge bomb. We're doing the Charlie Pritchett flavor, flavor profile. profile. <laughs> you, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> We love you, Charlie. <laughs> Ooh. Lord, Lord. Dude, I mean, come on. I mean, it, look at this. We talk all the time about how food should taste good, but it should also look good. I this mean, looks look, good. Look at those plate ups. Hey, thank y'all for uh, coming back to Grilling with the Guru. We're yeah. just admiring some of my little handiwork right here. Yeah, we've been laboring, T. Yeah. So Ooh, we got boneless stuff. Chicken wings, two ways. Asian. Asian and Latin. Now tell them what you stuffed it with again one more time to little, recap. Little ground beef uh, flavored with uh, soy sauce, uh, rice wine vinegar. Uh, Mirin. Mirin, uh, some uh, cilantro and garlic. Yeah. And then you. We got some Southwest Latin stuff with corn, some elote. Some elote. Yeah, some oh. street corn. Basically, we got cheese. We got uh, corn. We got uh Jalapeno peppers, we got the serrano, serrano peppers. peppers, we got, we got uh, a little bit of lime we made juice. A, we made an aioli right here, yeah. with, like that. And we got some leftovers. Then we got so some leftovers that's going to make a sandwich. So look, we're just going to take a little bit do of it, extra. Do it. All right, before we get into it, we're going to thank our sponsors. Got to thank we? Courtesy of Bro Bridge. Go to Courtesy. Courtesy got your drunk, man. Go to CourtesyBB.com and check yours some out. Some good people. Hey, and if you if you're walking around a, a, the frozen food section of your of your grocery store, check out Cindy's almost famous Rue. It's she Rue season. One more episode, and she got to change the name because we're making her famous. super famous. <laughs> Earl's Cajun Market. Love them people. Woo! Look you at gotta what we go. got right here. Right on Verout School Road. Yeah. Right in the curve. Just holler. And just, just holler. Tell Tim. them the Guru yeah, sent you. Hey, Tim, hey. Tim, hey, yeah. Guru sent me. Give us the greatest foods makers of Louisiana love. If super. you ain't cooking with Louisiana super. love. You don't, you ain't loving what you're cooking. Super. Cajun, Cajun grill. Cajun we are grill. almost out of time. Yep. We got to take a bite. You you take a bite of mine. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Grilling with the Guru. I'm Please join us next time. And we don't know what we're going to be cooking. But, but they make big be chicken than Egan. That's all I got to say. Look at We will see you next time. Mm. Oh, my.